Hi, this weekend I went on the opening night to see Venom The Last Dance, the third and apparently final film in the Venom series spun off from the Spider-Man movies and produced by Sony Studios. It follows the adventures of Eddie Brock, who's bonded with an alien symbiote called Venom. The symbiote takes over, goes around on a rampage and bites people's heads off and such, and the two of them together form the lethal protector. Venom excited by violence and carnage, and Eddie trying to keep him in check, performing an unlikely double act. In this film, uh, Eddie and Venom have had to go on the run after the events of the previous film, and uh, discover that there is a secret government project investigating the symbiotes, as well as there being a uh, mysterious creature on the loose, apparently sent by the symbiote's creator, that is seeking to take over the world. As with the previous films, it leans very heavily on Tom Hardy's ability as the star. He plays Eddie and he voices Venom, and he shows again what a great comic actor he is, doing all the, the Steve Martin style, all of me, uh, body control material, um, playing off the humour, playing off the double act nature of Venom and Eddie's relationship. And it works really well. He's always a pleasure to watch, and it really elevates the rest of the movie. The movie itself isn't great, but it is in no way bad. Uh, the Venom movies have had quite a negative reception overall, but I've always enjoyed them. I think they, they're lifted by Hardy playing them as bizarre buddy comedies, rather than serious, gritty, grown-up um superhero adventures they're fun they're meant to be quite lightweight with a ghoulish sense of humor and i think they've played a lot better in the uk than they have in the us because they appeal more to a british sense of humor the jekyll and hyde relationship between eddie and venom also kind of plays into that more european style of humor that american audiences seem to struggle with um it's agreeably brisk as a movie it's less than, it's, i think it's an hour and 45 minutes including all the credits so it Breezes by very quickly. There are some fine performances and supporting roles by the likes of Juno Temple and Chuan Halegiofor. Stephen Graham, who was in the previous two films, returns for a small supporting role. And overall, it's it's pretty enjoyable. It brings Eddie and Venom's story to a satisfactory conclusion. There's some excitement. There's some action. There's some humour. There's lots of character material. There's some inventive use of Venom's abilities. Overall, I found it to be very enjoyable. Um, it's not a deep or complex movie, but for what it is, it's a very enjoyable Friday night out. Um, I think that a lot of the reviews are unnecessarily sniffy about it, because what exactly are you expecting? The film works on its own level, um, as did the previous two films. I found them to both to be very entertaining, very enjoyable. Rewatching them earlier this year, I found them very entertaining and enjoyable. And Last Dance I found, similarly, um, this is, it, it feels a very British production as well, because you have Kelly Marcel write, co-writing and directing, co-writing with Tom Hardy, and a largely British main cast. So it does feel as though that it's aimed more at a, a British sense of humour, a British audience, rather than American audiences who really struggle with darker, more offbeat material. Um, I remember a moment in the first movie where Venom first beats up a crowd of thugs and tells Eddie, right, now I'm going to bite their heads off. And Eddie says, why? Well, pile of bodies, pile of heads. Heidi. That kind of humour feels like it's lost on mainstream American audience. But that's funny to British ears. Um, the Last Dance is more of the same. It has a change in um, uh, locations. It's mostly set in desert areas um there's a likeness to it there's a song and dance number there's humor and characters and it, it feels like it works it's an ad admirably tight entertaining superhero action comedy adventure with some emotion and some personality it's not the greatest film in the world it's not one of my 10 best films of the year but on its own terms it works really well i really liked it and i'd recommend it very much along with the previous two films as well